Hi. <laughs> Being an animal is such a clumsy thing. It's terrible. Uh, never mind being confusing. Do I talk as a human or do I talk as the animal? You know. Hi, this is Federation Fox, and I thought I'd do this again. I, the, the camera was set to a lower resolution, and that picture was a little tiny postage stamp. Ah. But uh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Just doing this for the fun of it. Um, I had a thought the other day while I was watching Star Trek, not directly related, but the yes, this is Federation Fox, and eventually I'll get my little com badge and go, Captain, beam me up. What do you mean there is no transporter? Captain? Captain? <laughs> it's, it's, ooh. <laughs> funny. Um, didn't write out a script. I forgot to do that, but that's okay. But, you know, it's unfortunate to be a furry in this world that's not designed for animals, but designed for people. So that it's, it's a little hard to to be like this and, and do normal everyday things that humans do all the time, you know, like using a pair of scissors, you know. My finger paws are too fat to get in to, and do anything. I can, the best I can hope is this, you know, kind of grab it like that, but it doesn't cut very well, but, you know, so scissors, um, computer stuff, you know, like a mouse. I mean, I can get my hand around it, but it's sometimes when I push a button, it's two or three at the same time or whatever. It's just really clumsy. And then, uh, keyboard. Forget about the keyboard, you know. Four keys at once. <laughs> I'm trying to do it with the claws, which is what I like about my claws, is that I can go uh, L O B, D. And then the fun part is trying to do shift in it. <laughs> Not easy. I think a neat idea would be if I started a business that made um, various things like scissors and my, mice and keyboards and so forth for, um, for animals and as furries. You know, that would be so cool. <laughs> now we can start using the computer and we don't have to unsuit ourselves, you know, we rip this thing off and then use my human hands, it's ah, oh. being funny of course, <laughs> that would be a neat idea though. <coughs> da, 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 da. I had some notes and, well, but it's so important to note that it's us fairies that grease the wheels, that operate the internet, computers, write software. We do all sorts of things. We are the backbone of the internet of the United States, but not the world. And we're the guys uh, fixing and running computers. And we're the also truckers. Uh, and, and railroad engineers, and all sorts of people. We're everywhere. And it's, it's wonderful. It's a shame we can't go on our fursuit outings more often, especially me. Out in the middle of nowhere, kind of, <laughs> very shy and, and so forth. And, uh, I just don't really know much of any, any fellow furs in the area, let alone anybody to go fursuiting with. So, but I'm working on that in time. So, skip that, blah, blah, blah. So, moving right along, answering a couple of questions for the fun of it. I've reached a point where I continue to make an assessment of myself. Where am I in the furry world? 
and as a fursuit with two fursuits, Federation Fox, an Excelsior Lion who's hiding over there. <laughs> Bit of a scaredy cat, you know, that <laughs> lion. Ooh, yeah. Anywho, but just one final thing. I'm getting serious. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people I hear spend most of their entire lives trying to find themselves. A few get lucky and find out, find themselves the whole picture. What are they? Is there, you know, what what category of society do they fit into, or? Or, or whatever, you know, but in terms of not the labels, but in terms of the definition of what's inside. What are they like? What are they, what are they so uh, attracted to or a part of them? What's, what's, what makes them up? What, what, what defines that person? But they spend most of their lives looking for it. I was. When people would ask the, ask the question of the human uh, uh, Randy, well, well, what are you? you know, describe yourself. And I just say, well, um, I'm overweight, I'm hard of hearing, blah, 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 you know, just really nothing. Now I have the answer. I'm very an suitor. Sorry. That's the most incredible thing for me. These past few months have been incredible. I found myself. What am I? What do I do? What do I love? And it's just wonderful. And to, and to, to go out. I keep being told not to go by myself. I have to go with somebody else, but I really don't know enough people. I, 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 I seldom can go. So everything's 40 miles away, 50 miles away, 60 miles away that, I, that us fairies gather for. Bowling, I love bowling, fursuit bowling, all those things, but they're so far away. But I wonder, I think the majority of furries have that same thing. They're, until we discovered our furriness, we didn't have a definition of who or what we were. And then when we discovered furries, we found our answer, and I bet you the majority of us furries have found that answer. That we are furries. That we love anthropomorphic art and culture and to fursuit and, uh, and all, the, you know, all the neat things that, that's being a furry loving animals, you know, that's what it's all about, you know, instead of saying, oh, we're not animals, we're some kind of deity walking about the earth, you know, you know, not instead of being a sort of an animal. But a part of all of us is an animal somewhere in there. It could be, it, it's, it's, that very thing, but it depends on how much person the person identifies with it. And most people have not discovered themselves. They go through life not knowing. And I'm so wonderful. It's so wonderful that I've discovered me. I found myself. I found my inner lion, Excelsior. I've always, always loved this. I've always wanted to be part animal, taking the best of both worlds. And I'm there. Who would have thought 30 years ago that I'd have this, that I, as a human, would... <laughs> crying. Just so wonderful.
plate cleaners, by the way, you know, but I gotta put a little water things in here, so drip, 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 drip. <laughs> I don't know, it has to be colored so you can recognize it as a tear. But I've also, it would be neat and funny, and the unfortunate thing is this does hide our smiles. And when we're in first suit, the smiles are the biggest in the world. It's so much fun and entertaining. I hope to have more chances. Because it's the most wonderful thing. The world needs to know us and understand us. Because we're something special. It's good. It's all good. So... Uh, last time I did a filming, the camera went poof. You know, I thought, oh no, it's broken. Well, it seems to be doing okay, but I think I better end this uh, before going too far. I just wanted to get in, and you know, the this crazy human world, you know. So I have to take the head off and to put on my headphones to listen to music and stuff because I'm very hard of hearing. I can't use speakers, and uh, you don't hear very well. And and then to take take my paws off. This is me. Not only did I make this first suit, but it's a representation of the inner me, the real, the real person. Federation Fox. Never thought of myself as a fox. I just they caught they, the person made this headset fox, so I went with that for fun. <laughs> with the, the I'm a lion. That's a part of me. What I'm about. The Federation fox is yet another character. He's me too. This this is the real me. All my life I've been looking to find the real me. And I had such a difficult time with that. I found myself. I also find myself repeating myself. This is why I wanted to terminate the video. <laughs> I can go on because it's just so wonderful. So, Federation Fox signing off for now. I wish I knew single finger, you know, you know like that, you know. Good night, kid. Say good night. Yeah. <laughs> I'm terrible in front of a camera. Mm. A little bit better out there in the real world. <laughs> so.